dreams Dante's Inferno The Devil's Maze It's a good world Pete, have you been keeping a secret from us? This is interesting. Yo guys, oh. Bad arm, let's uh, not do that again. Yo guys with the right arm, what is going on? I'm Jake Felzine here back with another video. What the heck, Jake, another video, what's going on? Well, you know, I uh, if you guys haven't watched my last video, Crash My One Wheel, I've been, you know, kicking back, laying low, and just, you know, doing the usual, watching a crap load of YouTube and movies and whatnot, and really trying not to push it because I can't go out and shoot anything. Well, I'm sitting here, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying my time. It's, it's pretty nice to kind of kick it not have much going on, and I'm watching a whole bunch of Pete's old videos, of course, because, you know, it's fun to watch some of his old stuff and some of his new stuff, and I came across something interesting, and here's the thing, I mean, I watch his stuff religiously because he's kind of like one of the main reasons why I even got into filmmaking in the first place, like him and Casey Neistat were like my two big inspirations. When I started watching them, I was like, yeah, I wanna buy a camera, and that's when I bought my Panasonic G7. And I remember just thinking like, oh, I want, I can't wait to have a camera that can shoot buttery smooth, 120 frames per second, like Peter McKinnon. Anyway, needless to say, from pretty much the start of when he kind of did YouTube, I have loved what he has done and have loved watching his stuff. And so, you know, again, I'm going back. I love his stuff and I'm f watching this stuff and I found something kind of interesting and it's strange because I really don't think, and again, I feel like I'm a pretty big fan. I really don't think he's talked about this in the past, but there's an interesting little network of crap going on that I think kind of highlights that he is the like networking god. He's like the networking master, guys. He's like completely hit it out of the park and it may have slipped under some of our noses. Now again, maybe this was common news, maybe this isn't a big deal, maybe everyone already knew it. Comment below if you'd kind of piece this together or if maybe I'm piecing it together incorrectly. But let's talk about my findings. So if you guys watch back to some of Pete's old videos, he has at multiple occasions referenced that he basically hit up the owner of James Coffee Company, who, if you guys know, is a company that he works with exclusively all the time to do product deals. He sells his hats through there, his shirts, I believe, a lot of his coffee. Of course, his signature Golden Hour blend, which I bought as well. And he has, and on a couple of episodes, basically said that he reached out to the owner of James Coffee and said, I can shoot better pictures for your brand and here's what I can do. And word on the street is, is that when he reached out and did this, then James Coffee owner basically said, yeah, totally, and it kind of spun around from there. He got all of the brand deals, he got to work with all the stuff, make his own coffee line, et cetera, et cetera. It kind of just blossomed into this Peter McKinnon coffee line through James Coffee Company. The second piece and where it starts to get interesting is if you, again, if you've been following him, he is shooting a documentary for Angels and Airwaves. Cool band, good music. Um, didn't listen to him too much before this, and then, you know, kind of started getting curious as to what Pete would be doing with these guys. But anyway, kind of started following them and kind of seeing what was going on, and I realized something rather interesting. James, or who I thought was maybe James of James Coffee Co., the owner of James Coffee, looked an awful lot like the guitarist in Angels and Airwaves. And as I'm sifting through the vlogs, watching all the different stuff, I definitely am noticing like, yeah, that looks a lot like the Angels and Airwaves guy. So I do some quick Googling, I find out that the Angels and Airwaves lead guitarist is David Kennedy. Do a quick Wikipedia on David Kennedy, and lo and behold, not only does David Kennedy have an awesome music background with Angels and Airwaves, and boom, is the co-owner of James Coffee company. Now again, this is all conjecture. I don't think Pete has confirmed any of this, and Pete, if you by any happenstance of the imagination end up watching this video and you didn't want this out there, let me know. I'll take it down. I just thought this was really cool and kind of pieced this together and was like, 
holy cow, this is the biggest tribute ever to showing like the power of networking because Pete supposedly just reached out to David Kennedy, right? The owner of James Coffee Company, got that deal, got the coffee flowing. And then, I mean, you know, reason reason to believe that as things transpired, eventually as the lead guitarist of Angels and Airwaves, there's connections there for Pete as a videographer to ultimately shoot their documentary. Again, we don't have any like actual proof, I believe from the man himself, but this is just what I found as I was lazily sitting on the couch and kind of piecing things together and was like, man, this is just a, this is a moment for all of us to learn from Pete and realize that when you reach out to brands and when you reach out to companies, you may be surprised at just how far talking to a real life human being can go in this field. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to start the conversation. I just wanted to share this. Have any of you also realized this? Are you super intrigued by kind of this networking trio and thought to yourself, well, maybe I need to reach out to some more people. Again, it's a great example of just the power of communicating with lots of different people. That's all I wanted to do. Again, just kind of a quick video, trying to get the mojo flowing again. And I wasn't even planning on making this. I was kind of scripting up my next big project, which I'm super excited for and was just watching a bunch of Pete videos and was like, hey, what's going on here? You guys have a good one. Peace out. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Love Peter McKinnon, of course, as always. He's totally my idol and I look up to him for all of my video stuff. He's taught me so much and he's just an awesome guy. If you have never heard about him before, definitely go check him out. You'll learn a ton. That is all I have for today. You guys have a good one. Don't forget as always that creativity comes from constraint and I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you are new around here. Jake Felzine, signing off. Mm -hmm.